Buenas tardes, compañeros, compañeras. Good evening. No long speech for me tonight. I'll keep that for tomorrow. And especially after the wise and thoughtful and inspiring words of Pepe Borrell, what could I add more? And saying this, somos todos europeos, somos todas europeas. This is what I kept from his speech. You were clapping a lot because a lot was said. And I was thinking, listening to all the clapping, of a, a story that uh, was once told by the late, great, inspiring Robin Williams. He said at some point he was at a U2 concert in Glasgow. And at some point, um, Bono, with his inspiration, stood up and wanted to make a plea for more aid for Africa. And he was clapping his hands above his head. And he was shouting, every time I clap my hands, a child dies in Africa. And from the back of the room, the Scotsman yelled, yelled, for God's sake, man, stop clapping. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is this. We have good plans. We come with solutions. Not much was said about Africa today. I hope to say more about that tomorrow because I believe our destiny is linked with that continent. But I'll leave that for tomorrow. But what I take away today after listening to all these inspiring proposals and speeches, is that what I hear wherever I go in Europe, from our opponents, from those whose only plan is to destroy the European Union, is that they have many plans to break, to destroy, to rip apart. Especially they have many plans to rewrite history because apparently they think they own the present and he who owns the present owns the past and once you own the past you can create the future creating a false image of the past as Orwell, Orwell has said and we should not be drawn into this false game of trying to chain people to their fears by rewriting the past we should put all our efforts in unchaining the people from their fears by writing a future, a progressive future, a future we can believe in. If there is one thing the history of our of movement shows us, only one thing it shows us, is the incredible liberating effect from removing fear from people's lives is the incredible liberating effect of giving people an opportunity to use their talents. It's the incredible liberating effect of creating equal rights for men and women. The incredible liberating effect of making sure that we treat everyone equally in our society, whatever their religion, whatever the color of their skin, whatever their sexual orientation, whatever their beliefs. Fear is a prison, is a cage. We should open that cage and let people out, giving them plans for the future. We should do something about the housing crisis. We should make sure that we put an end to the disgrace that in some member states there is still no minimum wage. These are very concrete projects and you have heard them today. And yes, campaigns of hatred against us and others will continue. Yes, that is true. But with the next poster that is invented by Viktor Orban with more lies, we could say that money you spent on posters and lies, you've been spending for years, dozens and dozens of millions of euros of taxpayers' money. Couldn't you have used that money to do something about the fact that in 400 districts of Hungary there is no doctor for your citizens? Could you not have put some of that money to effect so 
so that the shortage of 4,000 teachers is addressed. Pupils don't have lessons in school because there are no teachers. Should you not put that money for teachers instead of posters with lies? <laughs> and perhaps it would be more graceful and more helpful to the women of your country if you would provide for daycare, if you would provide for equal pay, if you would provide for opportunity for young people in Hungary instead of seeing all these young Hungarians leave for other countries. Today, one out of six Hungarian children is born outside of Hungary. Bring them back with optimism, with positive policies. Make sure that that happens. So, so my friends, let me conclude on this. We've heard all the plans, and they're very good. Now we need to make sure that people see that they are good and they vote for us in the European election. And when we will be attacked viciously, when they start throwing lies at us, every lie we get, we give back a fact. Every insult we get, we give back a nice word. Every time, every time they turn their backs to us, we stretch out a hand to make sure that we work together with people of goodwill. We will not go as low as they are by spreading hate. We will bring hope. And most of all, we will bring, and today was a big inspiration for that, we will bring a feeling of spring in the hearts and minds of Europeans. A feeling that more is possible than just hopelessness. A feeling that there is a world beyond austerity. A feeling that more jobs can be brought to the table. A feeling that the rule of law is not a game, but is something everybody deserves. A feeling that democracy will be restored, will be strengthened, and democracy for everyone. A feeling that our new and young generation feels part of a construction that is a European construction that has brought peace for more than 70 years to this everly war-torn uh, continent. I believe in Europe. I believe in social democracy. I want to say, long live the party of socialists in Europe. Long live the party of socialists and workers in Spain, PSOE. Long live Europe.